what's going on guys? Gemini here. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's been a while. I haven't done a uh, video on my Golf 3 GTI. And uh, I'm going to be doing a little mod. I've been taking a look at the airbox. And uh, if you can see right there, uh, there's a little hole here. About the size of a quarter. It was the other, uh, the holding mount. Uh, it broke off Not in my hands uh, when I bought the car it uh, Came like that so for now a uh, temporary fix. I just shoved some uh, styrofoam and uh, Used some uh, electric tape to hold it in place But this video is about a little modification. I'm gonna be doing to the air box uh, I've been doing some reading online and it says um, it'll add about three horsepower and a, a couple foot-pounds of torque. Um, I got some piping here. I already started uh, cutting uh, the angles and so on. Uh, here's the original piece uh, that goes right there. If you can see that, that's the uh, the intake. Uh, excuse me. One second. But uh, anyways, uh, like I said, this is the original piece. And it goes something like that. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Um, but it's facing uh, the outside towards the fender. And there's a lot of cluster in there. So it's really not getting enough air. So, you know, I took that out. And once again, like I said, I'm going to be cutting the angles. Uh, this is the first piece. It's going to go here. Then I'm going to 90 degree it uh, downwards uh, down there. And uh, I'm going to be placing it here in this grill here. I'm not going to cut it out. I'm just going to make some um, holes at the end of the pipe about four holes around the pipe and just uh, wire tie it uh, so it's facing directly um, you know in front of the car uh, probably gonna put some uh, some mashing uh, mashing mashing whatever uh, at the end of the pipe so it doesn't get any uh, debris um, so it's probably gonna take me about half hour so I'm going to get to work and uh, I'll show you the final results once I'm done. Um, uh, before I go, yeah, I got some clamps. I got some uh, nice sturdy clamps. Oh, here it is. Um, I'm going to be using that to uh, fasten uh, together the pipes. Here's the uh, other 90 degree, uh, pretty light uh, material. Uh, not too heavy, uh, but durable. Uh, this is going to be the end piece. Uh, isn't it pretty? Nice and pink. Uh, this is a little uh, stronger material. Um, so for this to make uh, bends, uh, it's really not good unless you heat it up a little bit. But I'm not going to get onto uh, that. The, so I got this stuff, you know, just laying around uh, the garage. Uh, it's been used, but it's still good. It's got no leaks or holes in it. So uh, then I got this uh, pretty sturdy hard stuff. Look at that! I can't even squeeze it. And this I'm going to be using as a um, a coupling. Uh, you know, uh, join the uh, ends together. This is a smaller diameter, so this will be going in the inside of one end and the other. And uh, once again, using some clamps. For that, uh, got a measuring tape. Always me uh, measure twice. A nice sharp, uh, brand new blade. Uh, make a nice clean cut. Uh, be careful using a blade. Um, you don't want to cut your finger off. All right, guys, I'm gonna get to work. This should take me about 30 minutes to 40 minutes, and uh, I'll see you then. All right, guys, so I'm all done. Uh, took me a little longer than expected, uh, 
but no more than an hour. Here it is. Uh, still not quite finished. Uh, there's a uh, there's a joint meeting here down there somewhere, and uh, I still have to uh, proper clamp that on both ends. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see. Uh, there's the pipe. Um, I just held it together really quick with some uh, wire ties, but uh, I'm gonna do a better job tomorrow. And uh, you know just. Uh, hold it in position uh, a lot better and uh, position the pipe a little bit better than that uh, I don't know I might cut an opening here but I really don't want to mess up the grill but if I did do that you know it'll be just have it sticking out a little bit but I'm just probably gonna leave it like that just hold it in place uh, a little bit more secure, uh, securely. <clears throat> uh, I took it for the drive. Uh, I did notice a little difference. Um, not much, uh, especially in the uh, 3000 uh, RPM uh, range, uh, 3000, 3200. Uh, I noticed a little difference there. And uh, the exhaust, it sounds a little bit better, actually, uh, from the extra airflow and it backfires a little bit more now too <laughs> so whatever uh once again is it worth it yeah to me it was i mean i didn't spend any money uh, you know i just uh, grabbed some used uh, clamps and some tubing i had laying around in the shop uh but maybe to you guys if you uh, were to have one of these and were to do the work yeah i think it's still worth it i mean you'll probably spend what ten dollars the most and from what i read you'll uh, get uh, i read you gain about three horsepower from the extra uh, airflow uh, compared to the stock um, honey cone that's just pointing like i said outwards uh, towards the fender there uh, which uh, doesn't get much air and uh, additional you're probably getting some uh, hot air in the mix uh, but with this you know it's you're not getting much hot air so that's always good so uh, yeah that's it uh, once again I haven't done a video on the Gulf uh, like I said I've been busy but uh, I got a uh, Maybe next month I got a little something uh, to uh, put together another video. All right, guys. Take it easy. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Huh? Isn't she pretty?